Eight, New York City, here I come. Thirty Fourth Street, next stop Broadway. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Why limit your possibilities when you can broaden your horizons? It'll be great. I'll be famous. It'll be exciting. Everyone will cheer me. I'll be loved by everyone around me. I'll be successful finally, and I'll be happy finally. Broadway, 42nd Street. Stand clear of the closing doors. If you haven't figured it out yet, I've decided to be an actress. I'm 19 and my stage name is Maxine Clark. My mother seems to think it sounds like a maxi pad, but I happen to love it. Maxine Clark. So far, I've been on about 300 auditions in 40 plays and 10 student films. I'm not kidding. I audition for everything. I mean, I always get cast in something because I'm good at it. I'm good at, you know, being other people. I'm a chameleon and everybody knows it. At first, I was having trouble deciding what I wanted to be because first I wanted to be an FBI agent, you know, solving the case, solving the problem, being... This is Agent 90066, Kopitowski. What seems to be the problem, boys? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I see. Well, this is what we can do. Jim, bolt the back doors with a K-47. Bob, help Agent Hatchet latchkey that back door. And Joe, stand by me for assistance and let's get this sucker. <laughs> No. But what if I was scared? So then I figured if I was a film director, I wouldn't be scared at all. Okay, okay, people. Quiet on the set. Makeup over here, please. Listen, I want her eyes to look evil. Not sultry, evil. Wardrobe, where's wardrobe over here? This color, whatever you call it, tang, has got to go. It's way too bright. I want it to be dark, gloomy, like, how do I say, voulez voulez, death. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, actors, actors, where are my actors, please? Let's get moving, people. But that would not be me. So then I realized I could be both. I can be anybody as an actor. So it's my dream now. It's my life. My friends can't believe how confident I finally am. It's just that I happen to have a little secret. Shh. You see, I read a lot of self-help books. I'm not kidding. They really help. That's why I've come this far. And I keep a journal of personal affirmations to remind me what I'm striving for. And whenever I have an audition, I read them. Because today, I know I'm going to get this one. I can feel it. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are right. Next. Hi. My name is Maxine Clark. I like biking, singing, swimming, aerobics, and traveling. I recently played the lead in When the Bells Aren't Ringing, off, off Broadway, and I'm currently taking an audition technique with Connie Stravinsky. Thank you. Joy. Ah, what would I do without you? Joy. I can also do it in different accents if you'd like, like Cockney. I. What would I do without you? Jai. Or Jewish. Um, I'm very good at Jewish. Oy vey. What would I do without you? Joy. Southern. Joy. 
What would we all do without you? Joy. How is that? Okay. You want me to do it once more? One more time myself? Okay, no problem. <clears throat> Joy. Ah, <sighs> what would I do without you? Joy. How's that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, I get it. You mean like you really want me to be myself. Oh, right. Let me try it once more. Okay, one more time. Be myself. Be you. Who are you? Be who you are. <clears throat> okay, um, I'm sorry. I lost it there for a second. Whew. You know what? Um, I don't think I need this. I don't think I need this. I don't need your bottle of joy. And I'm not going to stand here and pretend to be myself. In fact, right now, I can't pretend that I'm joy for you because I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry I wasted your time. But I want to thank you because if it wasn't for this audition, I don't know what I would do without you. Huh? Huh? I got the part? Really? <laughs>